and go to prison and they're the only parent in the family, what happens to their children? That's a great point. So we're going to arrest them either? People, there's no difference of people who are cited before 287G came into effect and after 287G came into effect. If you were cited on a, a traffic offense before, it's no different now. You're so still cited. the same as an arrest? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can cite in a lieu of arrest. Okay. And you don't have to come to the detention facility if you get cited. And the people that were cited before 287G are the same people that get cited after 287G. <laughs> Nothing has changed. And if you can look at the numbers, you can obviously see 350 out of 12 thousand arrests. That's down from 16 and 17. The numbers have dropped. So it doesn't validate your point. Then why do we need a policy then? What do we need a policy on? What? What do you why do we need 287G if the numbers have dropped? Really, it's just to show you it doesn't have any, it doesn't matter about the number. The policy, the policy doesn't matter about the numbers. It's not changed the numbers. But in fact, they've gone down. So where's the justification? I'm, I'm still waiting on that. The justification is, it's like he said, we need to know who these individuals are when they come into our jail. For ah. other inmate safety and for our officer's safety. We need to know who, what a person's identity is when they come into the jail. If the numbers haven't changed, then what do we need ICE for? You already have secure communities. Why do you need ICE for it? can only answer one question at a time. Be respectful.